Learning in Concert is an education outreach program that partners the New Bedford Symphony Orchestra with over 55 local elementary schools. The program unfolds across a school year in three phases. In the fall, we bring a trio of musicians into the schools to launch our concept of study. We then return and visit individual classrooms, and then it all culminates in the spring with our Young People's Concert. Each year, Learning in Concert chooses a concept, just something that is, is rich and relevant uh, to understanding classical music. But then we connect that concept to other subject areas across the curriculum that authentically share that same concept. This year, our Learning in Concert program explored the concept of gravity. Gravity in space and gravity in music. In space, we observed how massive planets and stars curve space around them. This curvature of space-time is gravity. Throughout the year, our students explored how the planets orbit around the sun and how the closer a planet is to the sun's curving space-time, the greater the gravitational pull and the faster its orbit. In music, we have gravity too. We can explore gravity through musical tonality. So our students built three note chords and labeled them with Roman numerals from the one chord all the way up to the seven chord. They then listened to these chords to determine which ones had a strong pull and which chords have a weaker pull. They arranged the chords into cycles that imitated the gravitational pull and the orbital rate of a planet in our solar system. In our school performances, the students heard a piece by Mozart that orbited just like Mercury with short, quick cycles of chords with a strong gravitational pull. By the time we worked our way out to Neptune, we heard a piece by Shostakovich, which had a very long, slow chord cycle composed of chords with a weak gravitational pull. In the classrooms, our students experimented with our gravity well, observing how objects move through curved space. The students then selected a planet in our solar system and composed a chord cycle to imitate its orbit. They used MIT's online coding program Scratch to code their selected chords into the computer. They then attached a Makey Makey to the computer and attached its alligator clips to Play-Doh planets. Each child then had the opportunity to perform their composed chord orbit by simply touching the Play-Doh planets. Excellent job. Give yourselves a big round of applause. That was awesome. Yes. At the Young People's Concerts, our students celebrated their work in the Learning in Concert program with a live concert performance by the New Bedford Symphony Orchestra. Throughout the concert, the orchestra performed the classroom's chord orbits and listened as students described how their music imitated the gravitational pull between a planet and the sun. This chord orbit is really good for Venus because Venus is only the second planet in our solar system away from the sun. We changed our chord from Venus to Jupiter by taking out some of the strong chords. Four, two, three, seven, two, and then back to the whole one. Seven, like we said, has a very good strong pull. So if you played seven and then going back to one, it would sound really good because seven has a really strong pull and it will just pull back to the front. One. Through a partnership with MIT's Planetary Science Department, our students celebrated the culmination of our gravity exploration with a star party at the Buttonwood Park Zoo in New Bedford. MIT astronomer Amanda Bosch and her students set up telescopes throughout the zoo to allow our students a once-in-a-lifetime nighttime viewing experience. One of the early experiments done by Galileo was to observe Jupiter. It has satellites and they're moving around Jupiter. If you point your telescope at Jupiter, you can see the different speeds that they go around their main planet. 
Gravity is a very abstract concept. It's hard to understand something that we can't see. By allowing our students to hear varying degrees of gravitational pull through classical music, they can build an understanding that not only informs them about how the planets orbit the sun, but how harmony functions in music. Multiple representations of the same concept in science and music building strong understandings.